The medication that we use to prepare a surrogate for embryo transfer is meant to mimic what a woman would produce on her own if she was ovulating. The estrogen is usually pretty easy. It's either estrogen pills two to three times per day, estrogen shots, maybe an estrogen patch that you place somewhere on your skin every three days. Part of the surrogacy process is to actually not take a risk that you're gonna release your own egg, that the child that you're carrying may potentially be yours. And therefore, we have to replace natural hormones orally and via injection. One question that sometimes I get from surrogates, well, why can't I take a pill for progesterone? And the reason is, is, is in a normal pregnancy, the follicle that released the egg becomes what's called a corpus luteum. And that corpus luteum is a highly vascular structure and it produces buckets of progesterone. Progesterone is a required hormone for implantation. If you took a progesterone pill, it's mostly broken down by your liver. If you tried to wear a progesterone patch, you'd have to wear a bodysuit every day, right? So really we have to give you progesterone into the muscle so it gets picked up and then basically um, get, makes it all the, way to your, all the way to your uterus to prepare the uterus for implantation. That involves an intramuscular injection for about approximately eight weeks. Personally, I've worked with thousands of surrogates now and I'm constantly impressed by these women being able to either have their partners do it and a lot of times women end up doing their own intramuscular progesterone shots.